Hi guys! Welcome to the first episode of Geometry 101 with Sir Mark and on this video, I'm going to start my discussion with the defined and undefined terms in geometry. But before anything else, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I'm going to upload a new one. So if you're ready, let's begin. All throughout this course, we're going to study geometry. But what is geometry? Geometry comes from the Greek word geo, which means earth, while the word metri comes from the Greek word metron, which means to measure. Meaning to say, geometry is the branch of mathematics that deals with sizes, shapes, position angles, and dimension of things. Any mathematical system begins with an agreement on a set of undefined terms. These terms can only be described in terms of what they possess and what they do not. So in geometry, uh, the undefined terms are namely point, line, and plane. Okay, so let's discuss this one by one. When we say point, it indicates location or position. It is represented by a dot and denoted by a capital letter. So let me show that. All right. So again, a point is uh, represented by a dot, okay, and denoted by a capital letter. So let's say point A. So we read this as point A or simply A. Okay, so if you're going to take a, look, take a look around you, so you can see a lot of representation of points. Okay, one of them is the tip of your pencil or your ball pen. So this is an example of a point. Another example is the tip of the needle of a syringe, right? And of course, this one. Nasa ng point dyan? The crosshair. Okay, so boys are familiar with here. Okay, we call this as the crosshair. Alright? Okay, so that's a point. Okay, next. Line. Okay, the second undefined term is line. So, how... What is a line? So, how do we define it? So, it has no thickness. Alright? So, a line continues infinitely in both directions, made up of infinite number of points, and denoted by two capital letters with symbol, okay, which is written above the two capital letters or simply represented by a small letter. Okay, to show that, okay, so... This one, so we read this as line AB, again denoted by a capital letter with this symbol written above it, or uh, represented by a, a small letter, all right? So line AB or line M, so that's how we read it, okay? Then to put emphasis on this one, so made up of infinite number of points, so meaning to say, so this line, so since it extended uh, infinitely, all right, so there are infinite num number of points, okay? So, may mga points dyan, alright? All throughout. There you go. See that? Okay. So, now, if you're going to take a look around you, so, of course, there are a lot of lines that you can see. One of them is the table. Okay, nasa ng line dyan? Okay, the line here is the edge. Okay? The edge of the table represents a line. Okay? Next is, if you're going to observe, so, the cable wire is also a line okay but take note okay take note that the cable wire there should be tightly stretched okay tightly stretched otherwise hindi na line yun. okay next another representation of line is the clothes line so like the cable wire it should be tightly stretched okay the third and the last uh, undefined terms that we're going to discuss all throughout uh, this course is the plane okay so like line it has no thickness Alright, uh, it is a flat surface with no boundaries and continues infinitely in all directions. Made up of infinite number of points and lines and denoted by a single capital letter or three letters which represents points that do not lie on the same line. So, what do you mean by that? Okay, so in this example, like uh, based on this one, so it says here, it's denoted by a single capital letter. So, we read this as plain D. Or, 
plain ABC. Ano ba yung ABC? Yung ABC na yon are three letters which represents points that lie on that plane. Okay, so these points ABC lie on plane on this plane. So therefore, we either call it plane B or plane ABC. Take note. Okay, take note. The order of the letters here doesn't matter. So we can call this plane CBA, plane BAC, and so on. Okay. Clear? Okay. Next. So, like points and lines. So, if we're going to take a look around you, so makakita ka ng maraming example of planes. One of them is, of course, yung example natin kanina, the table. So, the surface here, this surface here is, an, is a representation of a plane. Another is the smart TV. Okay? So, the surface uh, is an example of plane. But take note, ha, yung curve yung curved TV, okay? So, hindi yun kasali, okay? Ang, ang, the plane that we're talking about here is the smart TV, yung flat yung surface. Okay? Next is, of course, the wall. That's a representation of a plane. Okay? Meron pa ba? Oh, plane! Yeah, plane. No, kidding. It's just, uh, hindi yung kasama. Okay, so, again, so these three are only representation of a plane. Okay. Now, we're done with the undefined terms. So, the point, line, and plane. So, now let's move on to definition. Ano ba yung definition? Definition is simply a common agreement as to the meaning of a specific concept. Okay? So, okay, a good definition, okay, uses brief terms for the term to be defined. Okay? It should be brief and concise. Okay? And it uses undefined terms, okay, yun na mention natin kanina, or previously defined words, okay? So, that's, uh, those are the two characteristics of definition, okay? Last, it should be reversible, okay? So, let's have this example of a good definition. Two or more points lying on the same line are collinear, okay? So, as mentioned here, so the good definition should possess the undefined terms. So the points, okay, the points, all right, and the line here are the undefined terms, right? Okay, and it's reversible, meaning to say, collinear points are points lying on the same line. So pwede mong balik teren. So that's what we call uh, definition, good definition, all right? Next, points. And or lines lying on the same plane are coplanar. Okay? So, coplanar, we call it coplanar points or coplanar lines. Okay? So, to illustrate it, let's have this one. So, points A, B, C are collinear by definition. So, the, la the points A, B, C lie on the same line. So, we call this collinear. On the other hand, well, points A and B are collinear. But points A and C are non-collinear. Clear? Can you give another pair of non-collinear points? If your answer is B and C, then you are correct. Okay. Now next. Here, points A, B, C are coplanar. So the three points lie on the same plane. Okay. On the other hand, okay, points P and S are non-coplanar. Why? Because point P uh, is contained in plane X while point S lie on plane Y. So point, uh, plane X and plane Y are two different planes. So therefore, P and S are non-coplanar. Okay? Aside from that, of course, if you're going to observe it, plane, uh, point R and point Q are also non-coplanar points as well as uh, point R and point P. See that? Okay, point, again, point P and point R are non-coplanar points. Next, okay, as we can see here, lines A and C, line A uh, is the red one while line C is the green one. So, they are coplanar lines. Why? Because they belong to this plane, the, the bottom of this box. Okay, so this plane uh, where uh, you can see A and C lie. Okay, next. So, on the other hand, lines B, the blue one, and line A, 
are coplanar. Okay, so they belong on this surface, right? On this side of the box. Okay, lastly, line B and line C, which are uh, the green and the blue one, are non-coplanar. So they don't belong on the same plane. See that? Okay. Okay, clear? There you go. So, uh, okay, another definition that you are going, that you're going to encounter all throughout this course is the postulate. Okay, ano ba yung postulate? A postulate is a statement about geometry which is assumed and accepted even without proof. Okay, another definition that we're going to encounter all throughout is the theorem. Okay, a theorem is a statement which has to be proved from previously known facts, namely definitions, postulates, and already proved theorems. Clear yung difference? Again, a postulate is a statement accepted even without proof, while theorem, before we use it, we must prove it first. Okay, based on the definitions, based on the undefined terms, based on the postulate, and previously proved theorems. Okay. Okay, postulate number one. A line contains at least two points. A plane contains at least three non-collinear points. And a space contains at least four non-coplanar points. So take note of that. So again, when we say postulate, we're going to accept this one even without proof. Okay, so later on, uh, mabibisualize natin ito. Now, actually, yung postulate number two or the line postulate, ah, uh, Medyo hawig, okay? Or it has something to do with this postulate number one. So, it says here again, a line contains at least two points. But in the line postulate, it says here, for every two points, there's exactly one line that contains both points. Okay, let's show that. Okay, so again, ang sabi, for every two points, okay? So, there's exactly one line containing those points. So, in here, I have points A, B, C. Now, what I'm going to show you that there's exactly one line that will contains the point A and B. Similarly, there's, a, there's only one line that will contain uh, the points A and C. Likewise, there's only one line that will contain the point B and C. Clear? If you're going to uh, create another point, uh, another locate another point, let's say point D, again, uh, there's only one line, okay, that you can make uh, containing the points D and A, alright? Similarly, only one line containing the points D and B, only one line containing the points D and C, and so on. Clear? Okay, so that's postulate number two, or line postulate. Next, the next one is theorem number one, okay? Take note on theorem, so... Uh, it is uh it we must prove it first okay based on the previously known definition undefined terms or facts okay before we accept it now the theorem here it says here the two lines or if two lines intersect then the intersection is exactly one point actually pwede naman natin i visualize yun when two lines intersect the point of intersection uh, the intersection is a point okay the, the intersection is a point so, let's see that. Okay. As you can see here, okay, I have two lines, line AB and line CD. Okay, so if I'm going to push it here, the two lines intersect at point D or E, nag coincide yon. So, they intersect at point E. If I'm going to move it here, they intersect at point E as well or point C, right? So, again, if two lines intersect, the intersection is a point. Okay, now, how are we going to prove it? Okay, how are we going to prove it? So, it says here, if two, do, if two different lines intersected at two different points, let's say P and Q, then there would be two lines containing P and Q. And it violates the line postulate. Okay, and sabi sa line postulate, for every two points, there is exactly one line containing them. So, okay, you see that? Okay, so that's how we prove theorem number one. All right, next. The third postulate is this. If two points are in a plane, then the line contains the points 
is in that plane. Okay? Next, if two planes intersect, then the intersection is aligned. So, pakita natin yan. Alright. Okay. So, again, going back to postulate number 3, if two points are in a plane, then the line that contains the points is in that plane. Okay. Ano, ano ibig sabihin nun? Alright. So, okay. Let's get two points here. Ah, sige. Paano ba? Alright. Wait lang. Okay. So, suppose point E and point F, okay, again, based on this postulate number 3, if two points are in a plane, okay, then the line containing the points is in the plane, is on the, is on the plane as well. Okay, again, points E and F are on the plane, the, the purple one, okay, or the, the pink one. So, meaning to say, yung line, okay, line EK or line EF, uh, containing those two points are also on that plane. See that? Kita naman, right? Okay. Next, postulate number four, if two planes intersect, then the intersection is a line. So, obvious na yun dito. So, the pink plane and the blue plane intersect uh, the intersect dun sa line, right? So, see that? Okay. Clear na. Alright. Next, Theorem number two. So, if a line intersect a plane not containing it, then the intersection contains only one point. Okay? Na-visualize ba yun? Again, if a line intersect a plane not containing it, then the intersection contains only one point. So, pakita natin. Alright. So, this one. So, ang sabi sa theorem, alright? So, a line, if a line, not on the plane, intersect it, so the intersection is a point. So, you know, point C. See that? Okay, there you go. Clear? Next, postulate number five, or the plane postulate. Through any two points, there are infinitely many planes. Through any three points, there is at least one plane. And through any three non-collinear points, there is exactly one plane. Okay? So, tanda na lang natin yan. Next, theorem number 3. Given a line and a point, not on the line, there's exactly one plane containing both. Okay? So, let's show that. Okay? Again, given line and a point, not on the line, there's exactly one plane containing both. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Okay, same illustration. Okay, suppose uh, I have here line EF. Okay, and then I'm going to select, let's say, point D. Okay? Oh, no, no, no. Let's say, point I na lang. Okay, again, based on this one, line and a point not containing, and that's exactly one plane containing both. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, I selected point F and E. Okay? Then point B is not on that line, right? So therefore, Yung point B and line EF is on the pink plane. See that? Yun yung ibig sabihin nun. Okay? A line and a point not on that line lies on one plane. In this case, which is the pink. Point B and line EF. Clear? So, that's it. Next, theorem number four. Given two intersecting lines, there's exactly one plane containing both. Again, Given two intersecting lines, they're exactly one plane containing both. Let's visualize that. So, in this one, okay, so lines AB and line CD intersect at E. So, therefore, based on the th theorem, so they lie on the same plane, okay? It's, there's only one plane containing those lines. See that? Okay, there you go. So, Try natin. Practice tayo. Okay. So, two different lines may intersect in a blank and two different planes may intersect in a blank. Again, two different lines may intersect in a point while two different planes may intersect in a line. So, if that's your answer, then tama ka. Okay. Number two. The plane E contains the points R and P. What can you conclude about the line RT? 
Again, the plane E contains the points R and T. What can you conclude about RT? So the answer, the line RT also lies in plane E. Okay? Pretty simple, right? Next, if line AB and the plane F have two points K and M in common, what can you conclude about the line AB and F? Oh, there's, let's put and F here. Okay, so if that's the case, so AB lies, line AB lies in F. Okay? Okay, this is the last one. The figure is a square pyramid. So you're familiar with pyramid, right? So name the planes determined by its vertices. Okay, again, we're going to name the planes. Okay, how do we, de how do we name planes? Using three letters, all right? Three capital letters. Plane A, B, C, plane C, D, E, and so on. Okay, so how many bird, uh, how many planes we can name here? Okay, the first one is, of course, the base, which is a square. A, B, C, D, okay? Then we can have this, all right? Uh, plane A, B, E, all right? Then plane A, D, E. Then this one, D, C, E, okay? Then, of course, the the front, okay, triangular surface, which is plane BCE. Okay, five na yan. But actually, there are seven answers. Ano yung dalawa? Okay, of course, this one is also a plane, right? So, this containing diagonal BD, so the plane BED, okay, containing the points BED, is also a plane, right? And lastly, the other diagonal, so, there's a plane containing the points A, E, and C. So therefore, there are seven planes that we can name out of this figure. Okay, so that's it. I hope you learned something on this uh, episode. So once again, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you will be updated whenever I'm going to upload a new content. So that's it. Keep safe.